there everyone welcome to ecocalypse and i'm bringing you guys the tier list so that you would uh, have more or less a, an idea of uh, who is going to be good overall by the way this tier list is just going to cover ssrs okay so this won't cover um srs so only ssrs and let's start with our tier d so we're gonna be checking out camilla okay for camilla doesn't bring much um damage for the front row and has drain not being used well so much for pve and pvp next is going to be stara for tier d so for tier d um only the two of them are gonna be here so stara is also has good damage um corresponding target and nearby target so which is roughly around three to four targets um decreased chance to block for those who are hit but not really impressive in the damage department so they're the only two in tier d and if you have them um i would not i would not build them i would skip them more or less in building them so moving on to tier c so for tier C, we have, um, let me just uh, pull her up. I can't seem to find her. Okay. So we have here Garula. Garula was actually nerfed. She used to be in t around tier B or tier A. Uh, she used to have stun, but when she was nerfed, she was she's down to damaging three random enemies and critical resistance reduction so that is actually what she is uh, what they call this what she is down to so again she's down to tier c next up is going to be um let me just look for her we're talking about bastet okay bastet here damage again corresponding enemy in front uh, and surrounding enemy so around three to four damage as well and also gives armor break not that impressive of a skill and damage so she belongs in tier c and the last one to round up our tier c is going to be baphomet where is baphomet i cannot find her here she is so baphomet is going to be in tier c she's the last one so baphomet again uh damage corresponding enemy in front and nearby enemies so therefore three to four dam uh, enemies damage she has decreased chance to block okay again not an impressive kit to have so th this is going to be your tier c you have garula bastet and baphomet so take note the tiers b a b a s and must haves these are the ones that you're going to be to be focusing on more or less so we'll start off with Towerette. Okay, I hope this is correct. This is Towerette. Yes, that is Towerette. Um, Towerette is has a large single row damage. So single row, meaning one in the front, one in the back, and she has armor and resistance debuffs. So she's she's kind of the middle of the pack in terms of uh, effectivity and usage. Uh, but you, if you have your, if you have her, you may use her. Next in this lineup would be, I forgot her name. It would be Wadjet. Okay, let's, let's look for Wadjet. Okay, so Wadjet has damage in the back back row. There are a few uh, cases who damage the back row. Uh, chance to turn enemies into mummies. Mummies basically have a lower attack. So they're basically useless. So that is what um, Wadjet gives. So let me just uh, take a look at what I have here. And the next one is going to be Beam. Beam is... Where is Beam? Here is Beam. Okay. Beam is going to be in tier B as well. Beam absorbs lethal damage once, only once, so she survives it. Large damage as well to a single row, meaning front and back enemies in that row. So again, a, a good utility as well and uh, also survivability, but she is at tier B. 
Next is going to be set. Okay, set was also nerfed. Set's build before was was more defensive. She used to absorb damage from you know from enemies from from your front row or from your allies. But now her skill is damage to the front row plus damage additional damage to burn enemies and also a chance to gain additional damage. So she was really valued. She was previously at tier A. She was very valued for her defense. Now, not anymore. Okay, so next is going to be Rayon. Okay, Rayon is, is uh, here. So basic damage in the front row. Chance to inflict burn as well. Attacks all enemies plus damage to targets with burn. So she is going to be your lead in your burn team. If you want to bring her... She is going to be your mainstay or your core for your burn team. So next is going to be Mori. Mori, where is Mori? Oh, she or she is. Okay, Mori, highest single target damage. Um, she targets the back, back row, of course. Um, so if you have um, enemies which, you know, um, if you want to target the back row, support in the back row, Mori is your best bet. She's going to be good in PvP while uh, in disabling back row. And she's also going to be good in bosses. Okay. And the last one is going to be Regina. So Regina has a chance to inflict burn in the front row. Um, though she has big damage, but again, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be <laughs> to be synergized with your uh burn effect so that is your tier b guys so these cases may be leveled up if you don't have a choice but that they're not really the core of your um your team <coughs> okay so we go next to tier a so for your tier a we're gonna be starting off with let me check who I'm going to start off with. So let's start off with Horus for tier A. Okay, so for Horus, um, armor break, high damage in the single row, meaning front and back, plus addi additional if armor is broken or armor broken, and immune to rage reduction. So Horus is can be you know part of your mainstay already she's a good she she has good utility aside from high damage so next up in tier a would be kiki one of my favorites from the start huge damage uh, unfortunately she was nerfed she used to target four um, random r random enemies now it's just a random row so it's gonna be just two Front and back, it's random, but it's has, it has a huge damage, buff attack percentage, uh, rage also to start the battle, and adds pierce to attack. So again, even though she was buffed, she still has very good value because she has pierce and she has high damage to boot. Okay, so next up we have Niz. Okay, so for Niz, I failed to get her previously. Um, she does do freeze um, to the nearest corresponding enemy, uh, enemy right in front. So basically, um, the, her targets could be three or four with her freeze, depending on the position, and rage to start the battle. She's a very good utility and damage dealer. Uh, you can't go wrong with her. Freeze actually makes the enemies miss a turn. So that is why she is very valuable and she is with tier A. Okay, next we have Vivi. Vivi, by the way, has rage reduction and attacks three random enemies. So rage is basically speeding up the turn. So if you you she gives rage reduction, definitely they're going to be slowed down in terms of their turn. She's very valuable. Uh, rage reduction is kind of a debuff, but it's going to be through three random enemies. Okay, next is going to be Neftis. Neftis. Um, probably the second best healer in 
in the game at this point. Heals allies in the same row and also inflicts burn. So take note of that. That is for Neftis. Next is going to be Shiyu. Okay, so for Shiyu, damage and burn two corresponding enemy in front and the surrounding enemy so again it's between three to four enemies for one target for her skill has self revive only for one time so she is also a good core to start with and moving on to the next we have zawa so this is zawa buff transfer She's, her, her skill is kind of a bit of unique because of the buff transfer. Increased damage for every buff she has over her target. And attacks also a corresponding enemy in front and surrounding that enemy. So again, um, most likely 3 to 4 targets as well. So increased damage if she has more buffs than the enemy she targeted. Okay, so moving on to Griff. Griff is... <laughs> Actually, I've, I, I, I like the damage of Griff. Large damage to, to the row of enemies, so meaning front and back. If, burn, uh, if burned, if those targets are burned, she deals additional damage. But even if they're not burned, her damage alone is very good to two enemies front, front and back. And the last one is going to be Nightingale. I never realized that Nightingale was this good until you know I reviewed all the all their skills. The so damage to four random enemies with a chance to inflict silence. So again, she's good. She's going to be one of your debuffers. She's gonna disrupt tempo for your enemies. And she is our tier A, and that rounds out our team A. So we're heading off to tier S. Tier S is kind of your must-have already, but they're the best of the best already. Um, your must-have are basically um, your must-haves are if you can get them primarily, then do get them. But don't make uh, the mistake of looking, you know, don't not looking at your tier, tier S because tier S is already very good. So we'll start with Audrey. Okay, Audrey has regen, can gives regen and rage to the back row. She's a very good support, actually, for what she gives regen and rage. Um, one of the most sought after supports that we have in the game. Um, although she was nerfed, she 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 used to be a must-have unit, but now she's with tier S. Next is going to be Pan Pan. Pan Pan um, gives shield. Critical resistance, but only to two random allies. So, again, she was part of the must-have before, but I'm afraid that she's gone down at this point. So, she is with tier S. Then, next on tier S is going to be Ferentia. Ferentia. So, front row damage. Skill damage increase every 10% HP lost of the enemies that were targeted. Okay, so if they have lo lower lower HP, then uh, skill damage is bumped up. Okay, uh, next on our tier S is going to be Yulia. Probably the best defensive case that we have. Um, she has taunt on the front row targets. Uh, she has damage reduction for 10% of HP she lost. Again... Um, she's going to be your best defender. If you don't have her, um, it's really sometimes hard to to clear some stages. But if you have Yulia, build her. She's one of the best and if not the only best defender that we have. And the last one to round out our tier S is going to be Dina. So Dina, best healer in the game, period. Heals three lowest HP uh, among allies. Okay, so best healer. Um, level her up. Look for copies of her. She's going to help you progress in most stages, if not all of the stages. She's one of the best that we have in the S tier. And she rounds out our S tier, guys. So moving on to the must-haves. I'm not going to... 
you know, I'm not gonna lie. We are lucky to get her. First is Fenrir, four enemies. Um, she used to hit all enemies. Now it's four random enemies for her ultimate or her special. Additional damage uh, for those who have HP below 50%. Additional hit as well. And increase attack from the start of the battle for three rounds. Definitely a very, very good damage dealer. A must-have and we get her for free. Take note. It's really a must to build her up. And the next one would be... Or the last one would be... I can... It's okay. Damage to all. Um, there are a few damage to all uh, cases here. I can is one of them. She has also true damage and a crit buff. So... Must have Iken and Finriro. You will never go wrong with them, guys. And here is your tier list to start off our global or our official launch. Okay, so if you have any questions, any suggestions on the tier list, please put them down in the comments section below. I would be happy to address them, probably adjust the tier list in next month if we have more cases coming in and by the way before i forget um the ssr avatar that we're going to be getting uh the, the ones that we choose from either male or female they're also good to use i just don't have an icon here but that one the the, the male or female avatar is going to be belonging in tier a i forgot to mention that uh, but uh, the avatar is actually good to use. They can be used up to the mid game. I've been using them ever since. Um, I got the, the female avatar. Um, they're going to be good. So they're going to be tier A. Please do use them. If Especially if you don't have much SSR units. They start out at SSR. Eventually, they will scale up to SSR as you progress within the game. So again, guys, this is the tier list. If you have comments, if you think that some are, are, are out of place, please do comment in the comment section. We will discuss and I could probably adjust them in the next tier list. So thank you guys for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.